In 1895, a team called Pine Villa FC was founded, and in 1899, it got renamed as Oldham Athletic Football Club. So, in 1907, Oldham were granted access to the Football League, which was quite quick, considering they'd only been around for like 22 years, so not long at all. So... So, after three years playing in the second division, they finally got promoted to the first division, or the Premier League, we'll get to that story later. So, after a few stints in the third division, they finally worked their way back to the Premier League, so all first division's not been called the Premier League just yet. So, they slowly worked their way back up there, which they did. And it worked well for a couple of years. So after, when the they were they were actually one of the founding members of the Premier League because they were still in the league at the time when it got renamed. So after 1994, it kind of all went downhill from there, which is why I'm doing this save. So after 1994, they basically they got just worse and worse. They went down to the Championship, League One. Then League Two, then sadly last season they did unfortunately get relegated, which meant they were only the they were the only Premier League club to do so in pretty much since since history. I'm not sh- I'm not sure whether there'll be another Premier League club to get relegated. Possibly I, I don't know if Doncaster were ever in the Premier League, I very much doubt they were, but they could be the next ones. So, so I welcome you to the Oldham Revolution. Hello and welcome to part one of the Oldham Revolution, and in today's episode, we're just gonna we're just gonna take a look around the club, see. See what players we've got. Don't think I don't think I know anyone because Oldham's not really a team I've ever actually looked at because I don't I've never actually needed to. But I think I think they do have one player recognised because they were playing in the FA Cup the other day against Wrexham, which they did lose two three 0 I think they've got um, Tammy Abraham's brother Timmy, little Timmy. The worst of footballer in the Abraham family. So today, Oldham Athletic have confirmed the appointment of Jack Clatworthy as their new club's manager. Eyebrows have certainly been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the inexperienced 20-year-old and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Boundary Park. Clatworthy has put pen to paper on a one-year deal worth 1.1k per week Yikes, we've only been given a one year deal. We better, we best get promoted this year, otherwise this save could be done before it gets started. He replaces previous manager David Onswer. So we're currently a two star reputation. Hopefully as we get promoted up the leagues we will get a higher reputation. I'm looking at probably the full five stars possibly. So, yep, 1890, fierce rivals are Rochdale. They are currently, I think they're in League, league 1 or League 2, I think. I can't remember. So, obviously, this is our first season in the National League, becoming the first ever Premier League club to get relegated out of the Football League. Obviously, we have to, we only have to play one qualifier, qualifier round at the FA Cup, which is quite, quite nice. So, hopefully, we should get I'd like to have a cup run because it's something about the magic of the FA Cup. It's just, it feels good. There we've also got the FA Trophy, otherwise known as the Fat Cup. So Boundary Park, 13,000 13, capacity. That is that's not bad. That's more than most League Two stadiums built in 1904. So it's quite old. They were probably playing in it since they were probably founded, yeah, pretty much. And Chapel Road Training Ground, they probably need to upgrade their training facilities, so we'll probably end up doing that along the way. 
So finances look a bit rubbish, I would say. Their status is insecure. So they've won one Skybet Championship. I presume that's the one that they got promoted back into the first division in. They've won, they've won one Skybet Sky League one. Then they've won a third division north. Oh my Christ, I'm not playing that formation. No way, who's that? So, their current best 11 is Norman, a back three of Hogan, McGaffey and Roberts. Then they've got Clark and Kuto. Then they've got Cooper. They've got Rooney. I, I, I don't know if he's in relation to Rain Rooney. I, th I think he might be. Then you've got Wellens as well. He's he's a very good player, that Charlie Wellens. I know from Man United. Then they've got Wesley Fondup. No, no, not Wesley, Carl. Don't know where I've got Wesley from. There you got Porter. So, quite a good squad, I would say. So, I, I haven't actually looked at many of the players yet. So, they want us to sign players under the age of 23. That's, I, I'm, I'm all favour for that. If it gets us promoted quicker, that's fine. Work within the wage budget, we can do that. Grow the club's reputation. That's that's basically why they brought me in. Grow the club's reputation. Get them back to the Premier League, hopefully, if I don't get sacked. Maximum maximum one year contracts for players over the age of thirty three. Reach the National League playoffs this year. Reach the first round of the FA Cup proper. Be competitive on in the FA Trophy then. My contract expires at the end of this year, so we'll get that sorted about um, halfway through the season. I'll ask for a new contract if everything's all going well. No, we don't want an injury squad, so hopefully, the next shot will be me getting introduced to all the players. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, or if you have already, hit the like button as well. It'll help out the algorithm as well, so that would be good for the channel. So let's get... Let's, right, before we do the like, guard tactics, let's take a look around the squad, see what players we do actually have. So, Mag oh, he's, oh, he is a good player. Good National League player, but has potential to be a leading Skybet League 1 player, so that is very good. Then they've just got a backup by a goalkeeper Canadian. Three caps for Canada as well, for Jason Littweiler. And moving on to the defence, they've got quite a lot of defenders. Charlie Wenders is obviously a centre mid. So they've got McGahey, who is a centre back. He looks, he looks really good. Says he's, he, I know his natural position is centre back, but. According to this, like the star rating, his best position is right back. Who's he wanted by? Morgan. Let's just hope he doesn't leave. So then we've got Liam Hogan, David Okakbu. He looks like a really good youngster on loan from Stoke. Then we've got Mitch Roberts. He's a. No, I know it says he's a left back, but come on, he's six foot two. He, he's got to be a centre back. We'll play him at left back for now, but then we might put, switch him to centre back. Then we've got Jordan Windass. Is he. Oh, there, oh, there, there is another Windass. So I, can't, I can't remember his name. What is his name? I, I don't know if it's any relation to them. Oh yeah, yeah, it says here. They're brothers. Right, that's good. You might try and sign this brother, you never know. Then we've got Benny Kuto. He is he looks like a really good player. Came through their youth system. Jesus Christ, I thought we'd get we've got really released from a Premier League club, so there's even more defenders here. We've got Jordan Clark who's a right back. Oscar Frickold, he's another right back. Then we've got Nathan Sharon, he's, he's another right back. 
So you've got three right backs here. Then you've got St. Francis Engel. He's a, I'm not sure what he is. He's obviously a left back. He's five for eight. Yeah, but he's definitely a left back. So in terms of defenders, how, how, how many defenders or complaint defence do we have? We've got 10 defenders. I mean, my personal opinion, I only like to have eight defenders. So I'll probably end up getting rid of two of them. Possibly might keep them all. They're moving on to the midfield area, so we're definitely going to play four at the back. Because, as far as I'm concerned, I did I didn't see any right wing backs there. No, I didn't. So you got Charlie Williams, really, really good young sir. What's his potential? League one. I think he could. I think he could end up playing championships. So they've got Charlie Cooper. He's he looks a bit rubbish. He could be one of the players we, we, don't, we can't sell him because he's just joined the club. So, how, how many years contract? Uh, he's only got one year contract. He could get released at the end of this year. Then they've got L Louis Maynard or Lewis. He looks like a good player. He's one of the older men in the squad, but who's he played for? Not a lot of teams. Come on, he must have started before 2011 to 12. He would have been 23 then. And they've got John Rooney. That's, is he? Yep, his brother is Rain Rooney. I, I knew it. He could say. So then we've got Harry Vaughan. He's one of, one of, is he? Did he come? Yep, came from our youth system. So he'll probably be in the squad for quite a while. Then they've got Dan Gardner. Jack Stobbs, who's got a decent potential as well. Ben Tollett. So we've got quite a lot of wingers here. Not a lot of sentiment. So I think, I mean, what position is Rudy? Is he, a, yeah, he's an attacking mid. So we'll probably end up playing 4 2 3 1. Just look at this. We've only got two strikers. We've got Ben Tollett as a winger. Luke Burgess. It's like a very good player. He's a right winger. They've got Hallam Hope. I really do hope he's really good. He's a natural on both sides, so probably end up playing him on the left hand side or the right. Not sure. And they've got Junior Luambo. It's like he looks, he looks like a younger version of Raheem Sterling. It's pretty much a lookalike, I would say. Then two strikers, we've got this is probably the area the, we need um, backup for or strengthening because we've got Chris Portes, he's 38, he's not going to be around for much longer. Then we've got Fondup. I could have thought of you we had Tim, Timmy Abraham or I thought we had Timmy Abraham. Maybe that was just, maybe that's just in real life. Where does Timmy Abraham play for? I, I swear he plays for older. We might make an offer for him. We'll scout him anyway. Can't scout him because we don't have the budgets. Right, so I think we're going to play a 4 2 3 I think we'll, just, we'll do game press for now. But it might. Because we're down in the lower leagues, it might it might make the players tie out more easily. So we might switch to like a vertical tiki tucker. Let's do the four three three, and I'm not sure what other formation to play. Do a tiki tucker five at the back. Obviously, we're not going to ever play that formation. We'll stick to this one for now. So it's a supporter profile. They want us. To, uh, supporters want us to reach the National League playoffs. Yes, play attacking football. Yet yeah. they don't, don't don't have to do that, but it's they don't really mind it. Develop players using the club shoe system. That's fine by me. Be competitive against Rochelle if we happen to play against them. What league are they in? They are, they're in League 2. So, 
possibly end up playing against them next season. Just going to accept all that, confirm, yeah. So, actually, let's take a look at our development centre. Do we have any decent youngsters? So, we've got two decent youngsters. We've got Fanny De Silva, who we might be. He's a striker. We'll probably learn about this year, then he'll probably play some more. Actually, he's only performed. Oh, he's, he's not that good, is he? His potential is National League, that's the league we're in. We might just call him up this season. Or we might know him up. Then we've got Trevor Walsh, who's a 16 year old goalkeeper. He, he looks like he, he could be the future. I'm not saying that, but he could be our goalkeeper in the Premier League, potentially. And he was in the under 18. Oh, got some good, good ones here. We've got. Sakari Hadakoye, he's a Scottish, he's not Scottish, he's probably like Nigerian or something. Yeah, no, Niger, not Nigeria. So, which explains why he's got African name, but he, he looks like he's got good, very good potential. They've got Ross Watson, again, a 15 year old, play, can play left mid. He's got got plenty of time before we can hit, come into the first team. Then you've got Glory Ada. He's a Irish striker, four and a half star potential. He could be one for the future as well. Then you've got Shabit Torre. Then another one for the future, four and a half star potential. Whether they'll get there or not is a is another question. Apart from that, I mean, you've got this guy, Tom Whitfield, who's got four star potential. Apart from that, we don't have any other, like, good prospects, I would say. So, I think in tomorrow's episode, we shall be playing our very first league matches against Torquay United and Dorking Wanderers. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more daily football manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.